It's that time of year when bees are swarming. Local beekeeper Ron Weaver has been called to remove this mass of bees from a tree in Myrtle Beach. Weaver and his 14-year-old daughter move slowly, scooping up handfuls of the buzzing insects and dropping them into a wooden box. Calm. You have to have a calm demeanor about you. They reflect your personality and your attitude towards them. While there may be plenty of bees here, beekeepers are worried about what's called colony collapse disorder. That's the mysterious blight that's killing off millions of honeybees, including some of weavers. It's a great loss every year to, to go out to your hive and, and a hive just completely be gone or, or all of them be completely dead and most of them gone, not knowing where they go. In past years, Weaver had not lost as many hives as some of his fellow beekeepers in the area, and he thought he was doing something right. Then this year, he lost seven out of his 30 hives, the most he's ever lost in one year. Clemson Extension agent Ben Powell says research indicates the problem is getting worse. Some of the big commercial beekeepers in California have lost 50 to 60 percent of their hives. Powell says the cause is probably a combination of things. There are implications in pesticide use. There's implications in diseases that bees get, as well as other parasites. One out of every three bites of food we eat comes from crops pollinated by honeybees, Powell says. So he says people need to be very careful about pesticide use, especially on flowering plants. And you shouldn't just try to eliminate every bee you see on your property. They are probably there doing you a service, not a disservice. In Myrtle Beach, Joel Allen, WPDE News Channel 15.